I'm not an insurance agent, but I've done plenty of transactions to share with you a really great insurance tip that will save you a lot of headache and tens of thousands of dollars. Hi everyone, Nick here, hope all is well. So I'll leave the fine details to the insurance experts, but uh, I do wanna share with you that uh, insurance companies are absolutely scared of old roofs and will make you pay for them. Here's how. So all of you know that roofs are pretty much one of the most expensive items to replace on a, on a home. Uh, typically, especially down here in Florida, we have mostly concrete barrel roofs and uh, they, for a, you know, a, a modest size three bedroom, two bath home, you're probably looking at, oh gosh, 35 to 45, maybe $50,000 to replace. Uh, if you have an older home that has um, more of a composite shingle, it's gonna be probably half that, about 15 grand or so, 20 grand, uh, maybe even 25. But in any case, it's, it's super expensive. Insurance does not want to foot the bill. And here are some critical things you need to know. First, when you're looking at a home, make sure that you're very much aware of the age of the roof. Concrete barrel, Life expectancy is typically 25 to 30 years and the composite um, shingle is typically 15 to 20. My recommendation is stay clear of these homes with very old roofs. Um, here's why. If you are a buyer and you're under contract with a, a home that has an old roof, it has to pass a four point inspection. If it doesn't, then guess what? You're not gonna get insured. If it does pass the inspection, what's gonna happen is your monthly uh, premium of insurance is going to be through the roof. They're basically going to force the, the owner um, of the, the home with the old roof to subsidize the replacement. So they're, instead of paying maybe 3,500 bucks for insurance, you're gonna be paying 7,000, 8,000, 9,000 um, for the year. And um, when they get to a point where an inspector says, and insurance will have somebody come over and, and inspect the roof, if that inspector says there are three years or less left in that home, guess what? That is a high risk for the insurance agent and they are going to force you to replace the roof on your dime. And if you don't, within their time frame, they will drop you. So those are really important things to know when looking for a home. So my advice, like I said, is when looking for homes, look for homes that have newer roofs. Even if they are, you know, if they, you think they have 10 years left of life expectancy, um, you have five to seven years to you know, allocate certain funds uh, to pay for that roof should you know, the, the time arise. That should give you enough time. And that's my tip for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just myself as a real estate uh, broker and, and Casa Art Group, um, what we try to do is really save the headaches, save the trouble, anticipate problems for, for buyers, especially buyers that are not um, either first time home buyers or just, or are just not uh, aware of certain things, especially f regarding insurance. So um, I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, need any real estate advice, give us a call. And uh, I wish you all good health and a happy home. Take care. If you got something out of the video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell. Also go to casaart.com. Our site and channel together will give you original content and you'll learn the important stuff in real estate, even tips and tricks many agents don't want you to know. Thanks again and take care.